So let's go back to the question of criminal law. Um, I know that it's one of your favorite subjects, isn't it? Always. Uh, it's always been one of my favorite subjects. I think I started studying criminal law when I was uh, 16 or 17 doing A-level law in the UK. Um, and it's quite a memorable topic as well because uh, it's quite case law heavy. And a lot of the cases are, are really very memorable because they're quite grisly. It's a collection of unpleasant stories. They stick in your mind. Yeah, it's quite exciting. So you think it's not, uh, it's easier. How we can compare it with other areas of law or substantive law from the point of view of how much time students should dedicate in your opinion? I think for me, I, I didn't put a timer on it because it, it's something I found interesting anyway. I was quite happy to read about it. And the more I, I knew I could sort of connect things in my mind. Um, but when you compare it with other subjects, it, again, as I say, it doesn't seem like so much of an effort. If you think about, for example, property law, unless you have a real passion for property law, um, which actually is maybe not the best comparison because I did, but uh, you, I find it harder perhaps to remember complex points in property law than I do to remember principles in criminal law. Yeah, because I think it's very much life-based. Mm. Uh, and I would say for people from other jurisdictions, uh, a lot of things exactly in, in the, not in the procedural law, but in the substantive law. So we have substantive law, like criminal law, and procedural law would be uh, criminal litigation, for mm. example. So if we compare, the substantive law is still, if just the name's a little bit different, but in its essence, it's still the same. So it's more or less universal, possibly all over the world, because it's actually linked to such a serious thing as, as a criminal offense. Yeah, yeah, a lot of the principles remain the same globally. Uh, it's very interesting to think about places like America, actually, and their criminal law, because although they have federal offenses, they have different state-based definitions of, of certain federal offenses. I remember buying a criminal law textbook in New York and thinking that was quite interesting. But the, the general core principles remain the same. Some things in, well, the majority of things in criminal law are things that are offensive to human nature. Um, and therefore, you know, it's a, they're concepts that are accepted everywhere. Great. So let's start with our lecture then. Just a second, I'll share my screen.